Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. New Horizons Church family and our friends uh, from around the community, around the country. Yes. And even around the world. We thank you for connecting with us and praying with us as we pray through this daily devotional entitled Living Life in the Love of God. What a wonderful opportunity it is for us to reconnect to God's love and to remain in his love. And when we do that, man, we have so many untold blessings that will come our way because of the love of God that is directed toward me and toward you. I want to remind you each and every day that you wake up, you ought to remind yourself that God loves me. That's right. That big old God loves little old me. And when I know that God loves me, he's more than the world that could come against me. And so I want you to be encouraged by that fact in scripture. And we're going to be praying about just living life in his love and remaining in his love. And of course, today is day number 11. And we thank God for these past 10 days. And today we're going to be reading from Romans chapter eight and verse 37. Romans chapter 8 and verse 37 from the New King James Version of the Word of God says, Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Amen. Verse 37 again of Romans chapter 8 says, Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. So today as we pray about living life in the love of God, we want to thank Jesus for his compassion toward us. We want to thank the Lord for his love and compassion toward us. And we want to thank Jesus that we are more than conquerors through his love for us, that we are more than victorious, victorious through Jesus's love for us. Come, let's go to the Lord in prayer today, according to Romans chapter 8, verse 37. Father, in Jesus name, we thank you for the privilege and the power of prayer. You said the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous makes much available. You told us we have not because we ask not. And so, Lord, today we've come to this time of prayer and we set this time aside as sacred and as special and as significant to us in our relationship with you. Lord, we thank you for this daily devotional, this prayer series about living life in your love. And Lord, today we've just come with grateful hearts. We've come with gratitude in our hearts and a praise on our lips. And we just want to thank you for all that you have demonstrated to us, that you love us, that you've laid down your life, Lord Jesus, for us, that while we were sinners, you died for us, that you paid the penalty, the wage, the price, the cost of our sins by dying on the cross. And you were buried in a tomb and you were raised from the dead on the third day. You're alive forevermore and are still interceding right now on our behalf. So we thank you for demonstrating your love for us. And Lord, today we've come to the scripture that reminds us that you have compassion toward us, that your love makes all the difference in the world, that no matter what comes up against us, no matter what comes our way, it will not and cannot separate us from your love in Christ Jesus. So Lord God, we thank you for your love for us and your love toward us. And we thank you, Lord, that because of that, we are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ who loves us. Lord, when the enemy throws the kitchen sink at our relationship with you, that when he throws the 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 bombs and the the threats and the 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 the, the, um, the different darts our way, Lord God, your love helps us to be more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. Lord God, that when the enemy comes in like a flood, you not only raise up a standard against it, but you make us victorious in every situation and in every circumstance. Lord God, we agree with the writer in Romans. We are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ who loved us. We are more than victorious. We are super victorious in our walk with you because of your demonstrated love toward us. Lord, when we look back over our life, And we've been in battles and we've been in fights and we've been in conflicts and we've been in spiritual battles. Each and every one of them, God, you have not only brought us out and not only brought us through, but you have made us victors and in victory more than conquerors in Jesus Christ. So, Lord God, we give you the praise and the glory and the honor for what you've already done. But we also praise you, Lord, for what you're getting ready to do and the victories you're getting ready to bring. 
And Lord, as you bring those victories about, we want to be found praising you and glorifying you and magnifying you and lifting you up and praising you and your holy name for you love us and nothing can separate us from your love. And you make us victorious, make us more than conquerors through Christ Jesus who loves us. We believe victory in the lives of your people. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. Dearly beloved, our scripture today was Romans 8, 37. Yet in all things, all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. I'll be back tomorrow to pray with you. Share the gospel by sharing the, the channel with someone after you subscribed yourself. We'll be back to pray with you tomorrow. We love you in the Lord. God bless.